Well, welcome back, everybody, for this lovely Friday on the 11th of January, already two weeks in going into the new year. Good to see you all loud and clear. Good, good, good. All right, so we got a nice little run already already this morning. We got this FTK that's up 107% already. Nice little cheap little stock, exactly what we always look for. We're going to talk about, I know a lot of you guys saw the stock earlier, 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, everyone should have been in right around the 265 price range once it broke out a little bit. She's not a big winner, but you know what? How nice is to buy 1,000 shares of a $2.60 stock, which is about $2.00. 2600 and you're up about 200 bucks for the morning someone should be happy with that do that every day in age of 50,000 a year right i don't know too many people could do that in 30 minutes but anyway she's been, she's been really really a nice easy runner 2.7 million shares traded um she tested that resistance levels we'll talk a little bit about that but there's a bunch of them out there and uh before we do that <clears throat> let's go out there and uh, let's just talk about yesterday and then we'll uh, we'll get into the watch list. So, a couple of good stocks uh, I want to cover from yesterday that did pretty well. Uh, first of all, the PCG wanted to bring that back up. Uh, uh, we all know potentially it's facing a six point nine billion dollar penalty from California wildfires. Uh, we all know that uh, you know I say it all the time. Unfortunately, catastrophes make opportunities, and I'm not talking about the catastrophe for the fire for us. It's about this company that got involved. You know, so we're just benefiting from, you know, what they did. So uh, PCG, you could see it, nice, expensive, and always thought, quote-unquote, blue chip safety stocks, you know, on a, uh, on an, on a you know, a utility stock. You would never think that would happen, and sure enough, look what it did, down to $17. That was pretty good, and looks like, uh, you know, what we want. You know, listen, there's going to be a buying opportunity, PCG. You know, and it could be six months from now. It could be, you know, two months from now. But let, let all this bad news come out as much as possible. Once it finds its bottom, it'll be okay. But I don't think PCG, you know, I, I never heard of a utility company going out of business until they get merged. Another big one, Bed Bath & Beyond. That was another nice one we had yesterday. Had a couple of little nasty shakes right here, but she broke higher highs. That one uh, did really well. You know, it was gapped up yesterday. Uh, the day before, and then it just tanked in pre-market, but she came right back. That one we did a lot, uh, did pretty well. Uh, poor earnings got crushed, but, you know, you could see it really kind of didn't crush it too much because it came right back. The AMRN was probably the best trade of the day. AMRN was another very nice and expensive stock, uh, around $14, right, 10 o'clock. She ran all the way up to about seventeen fifty, and then she continued in the middle of the day. So that was pretty much the best day. Uh, of them all. Now, for a lot of you that are my students, gold, platinum, and diamond uh, students, we we, you know, we just finished phase three yesterday. And let me tell you, the first lesson, the first day, lesson one and two, you know, yesterday, I mean, it wasn't, it was okay. It wasn't great. We learned, we learned a couple of things. Uh, and you always learn something because it's always live trading. But, you know, if, if you're, if you're a veteran and been here and you didn't, weren't able to get into class because you wanted to trade, you got to watch phase one and phase two, uh, uh, lesson one and two. It was just awesome. All right. So, uh, that's that ladies and gentlemen. Now let's get ready going into, uh, what's going on this morning. Obviously the big news this morning is that FT, uh, K trade right there. She's starting to kind of build a little bit of a support right here, which pretty looks pretty interesting. So that right now is the top of the list. This morning early, um, I don't know what was happening. I thought the pot stocks were really making a big um, comeback. Uh, pot stocks, you could see, I mean, these things got destroyed. I mean, with TLRY, we, know, we knew this was going to happen. I mean, you have a stock that goes from, and we were trading this thing at $20 when it went public. And you go to 300. I still have people that talk about it every day. But, you know, listen, if you're new to here to CTU, you're watching this uh, on our channel, we get these things all the time. You know, I, I can go down the list of Elfin, uh, Dryers. I mean, it's just the, uh, it's, it's so much C C I E N. There's so many of them out there. So don't worry, we'll find another one. But, but, but that's, that's the past. Let's worry about the present. And I thought the stock was going to make a big comeback, but she really took a big hit. She gapped up pretty big up to a past 100. She, now she's down about six bucks. But um, obviously, a lot of us are not going to trade a $94 stock, but we do have the other ones that we could trade that go along with it, like uh, uh, Nubev, uh, uh, CRON, you know, uh, ACB. You know, all those other stocks are pretty good too. All right, but we'll keep an eye on that one. Remember, this is the indicator. IPX. Why, I mean, 
Hit the stock up 11%. Stock took a little bit of a hit uh, a couple of months ago. You can see it was at $4. Start making a little bit of a comeback. Uh, spread looks pretty okay. Good volume. Nice iceberg orders here on the matrix. Uh, you know, it's, I'm always looking at some of these sleepers that come out of the way. HIMX. What a fun stock that was uh, last couple of days. We did pretty well on that one. She's gapping up again, up, up, up 6%, 73,000 shares. She was an easy stock to trade. She was fun. We know how she trades. You probably took very good notes on your journals like we taught you to do. Keep an eye on that one. That one's not bad. And um, GM, what's going on with GM? I haven't heard that stock in a long time, long time. What happened with GM? What did they say? I, one of you uh, put, out, uh, put out a chat out there regarding their news. Uh, something about uh, GMC's, uh, was it... Uh, Earns per share, was it, uh, would you write that? Fran, Fran wrote that. Was it 650 to 7? It just automotive free cash flow. Well, listen, when you, when you start firing employees, which is the most expensive part of your, you know, your expense of running a business, <laughs> well, you know, obviously what people look at is, I think it is a bad sign. Sometimes it's a very positive sign. That's why these stocks open up. So obviously they're doing pretty well. Are they developing a flying, are they developing a flying car? Well, we are innovators over here in, in America, so everybody always likes to follow the leader. So what happened with Tesla, but uh, I'm not ready for flying cars. I thought they were going to be here sooner after watching Back to the Future. Remember that movie when it first came out? So I don't know what the hell's going on. Well, we haven't got them yet. That's the Tesla's new roadster. <laughs> I'd like to see how that thing takes off the ground. No more traffic jam. No more helicopters. All right, so uh, one stock I want to have a little fun talking about, guys. And you know, and, and a lot of you here have been here for a long time. I got to bring this up. It came up on my radar, and I want to just talk about it really quick. The, uh, was it WTW? Weight Watchers. Who remembers Weight Watchers? Let me change the slide here. Remember Weight Watchers? We were trading it uh, back last year. And it went from twenty dollars all the way to one ten. We're like, what the hell just happened? You know, like who would ever think buying Weight Watchers? And we all know, you know, Oprah bought into it and pushed it up. I think that was that nice little rally here in two thousand sixteen. But first of all, I mean, where did that come from? Right, went to a hundred dollars Weight Watchers. You kidding me? Well, look where she is right now. She's at thirty three. Let me change the time frame over here. Look what happened. She tanked in July from one hundred and ten down to thirty five. Okay, Lita, you remember? Remember we kept we were trading Weight Watchers, and we said, you know what, this thing is just pretty too volatile. She was a great swing trade, but this is the big difference. You know what you learn being a day trader while we're here is that everybody thinks like I can't really day trade, or I know some people that that are trial members are like, you know, it's really not my style. I'm glad that I jumped in, but now I understand it. The thing is this. If you want to be a swing trader or an options trader, you got to know what happens over the course of the day to be a good day trader. And by being a good day trader, you could see why w, uh, WTW went all the way up, and you could have known how to get out probably around the 90s, $100 price range. And now, you know what? Some people don't know when to take a loss, and now that, you know, that nice profit that they were banking on now is gone. You know, So you got to be a good day trader. Remember, day trading is the most conservative, uh, less risky thing to do. People don't think that. They think it's more risky. I'm like, no, it's not because more technology, you need more indicators, you need more this, more that. It's, it takes more of your time. Time is money. Some people are just happy just trading the, FT, uh, the FTK uh, that we traded and just making that 200 bucks this morning and calling it a day, you know? So, you know, that's, that's where it comes into play. But anyway, uh, I just thought it was a kick of bringing up Weight Watchers, how crushed it got. That, you know, we were talking about, we, and you know, we were talking about it a lot in, in the morning meetings watching that stock. So I was just, it's, it's just, it just blows my mind to see where these things go, like going back. To, and sometimes you crack, you know, it drives you crazy because sometimes you like look at some other stocks and you're like, wait a minute, that stock is $1,100? Or like uh, Priceline. Priceline, are you kidding me? So what's the symbol? I didn't even look at it. Was it uh, what's the symbol of price line? People probably never even saw this stock before. What is it? P was it P R L N? Got the symbol. Anybody remember the symbol of price line in the room? Look, nobody even knows it because they, nobody trades it. Never even thought about it. P C L N, is that it? No, that's not it. P 
ATLN. No, that's not it. No, that's not it. It's not coming up. No, it's not coming up on my radar. It has a new symbol. Is that why? Okay. All right, well, that figures it out. But anyway, what is that stock like? Uh, I thought it was PCLN also. It's not coming up. It has a new name. Well, anyway, it's not important. The bottom line is some people never thought that stock was like $1,500. So it's like, what? Priceline? Are you kidding me? It's, that's the new, that's the new word, B, BKNG. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not looking at dryers. That the, is that's gonna have a new symbol too. <laughs> Actually, I always get a kick out of this. D R Y S. My buddy Ken over there. Uh, you know it's funny that you can't really notice it on this one, but uh, with all the reverse stock splits where it's trading right now, the stock was trading at fifteen million dollars back in 2015. Are you kidding me? Is that scary or what? Unbelievable. All right, so guys, so um, let's get ready to trade markets opening up less than 15 minutes. Go fill up your coffees. Remember, there's nothing really going on until about 9.30 if you didn't jump in early already. But if you got a good position right now, you know, like we said, let's hold till the open. Uh, you know, the FTK did pretty well for us. We always find new ones that will pop, up, pop out of the blue. So um, if you missed whatever this morning in pre-market, don't worry. We always get a new list of stocks like what we found yesterday. You know, there was a lot of them out there. If it was the PCG or the AMRN like yesterday or BBBY that we found and didn't really pick up till after, we always find something new. But so fellow traders, see something, say something. And uh, if you're new to CTU, I know we have a lot of new members. Make sure you talk to the education advisor. Watch the videos that we told you to watch. Watch how the traders make money. Don't look at me. Look at them. It's not about me. It's about you. Know, it's, it's, it's knowing that if this is for you or not, the only way you're going to know that if other people could do it. I know I could do it. You got to figure out. If, um, if we're able to teach you how to do it, and the only way you're going to see that is watch everybody else. So go out there and do your homework. All right, guys? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading, and we'll see you back at 2.30 meeting. Let's go out there and make some money.